morning everyone uh, we're out here this morning we fished this lake yesterday and uh, i left the trot line out here uh last night so we're here this morning gonna check it get it pulled and uh see if we got any fish on it Feel one on it, guys. Look at there. Good, good blue. Good fillet size right there. Good channel cat. Be perfect eating size. All right, we're gonna run this thing and then we'll come back pull it back from the very end we've got a hook hooked up right here you gotta be really careful these and i always like to have my knife out and handy where i can get to it whenever i'm working these things especially by yourself out here because you get a hook in the arm with all this tension and it's not a good thing we're going to get this thing back down get the boat on the other side of it so the wind's pushing us pushing us away from it That's what we want right there. Now I can work this thing out here away from me. I'm just going to clean the hooks off as I go. And then when I come back, I can just, I can just wrap everything up. And I don't have to worry about getting, getting baits off. empty hooks that may be the only thing we got this morning I'm not feeling anything else
see if I can get a hold of Definitely hung up around something down there. It's <sighs> wrapped around a log or. I hate to do it, but I think I'm about to go all the way back to the start again and work my way back down, cut this, and then uh, when I get back down here, I can I can pull it underneath that tangle. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. I think it's just underneath a log, or it don't feel like, it feels like there's just something heavy laying over the both ends. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, Cut it here now. Okay, I'm gonna run up here to the other side and start again. And uh, work our way back down to the end and then we'll work our way back up to it. We're just gonna work this whole line back down to that where we cut it at. And then we'll start pulling it up because the wind's blowing this direction. So we'll we'll start at the end and be able to hold ourselves. If we started here and tried wrapping it up, the wind would would blow us the whole time and it wouldn't be fun. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the other end and we'll work it back, pulling ourselves into the wind that way. Yeah, I probably just felt it give down there or whatever it was tangled in, so that whole end's loose now, I believe. I'm gonna get her right here's what we're gonna we're gonna use to wrap to wrap that line around. We're gonna leave the hooks on it. And we'll have it ready for when we get to this end. This is our last hook here. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get to that end. Try to get a couple of good wraps on this on this handle before before the wind catches up and pulls it tight. All right. Now we can just use the whole board itself to. We don't have to hold on to the string to keep it taut. We can just use the whole board itself to pull. We're just gonna, gonna wrap it back up to the other end. I'll show you guys how I do that, leaving the hooks on. Just gonna get the 
is untangled here. Gonna wrap it all the way up to that knot. So I'm gonna take this hook and we're gonna bring it all the way up here to the top of this. You may have to adjust, depending on the length of your lead there, you may have to adjust it a little bit, but just gonna pull that hook right up here to the top of that board and we're gonna hook it. And we're gonna go to the next hook. Same thing. All the way to the knot. Just like that. Right up here at the top of that board, we're going to put that hook in. go guys got it out of there it's nice and wrapped around this handle and we can just start right here next time tie it off where we want to tie it off and then just feed it out just just the opposite of what we did but, uh, just the opposite of what we did taking it in so uh, one thing this thing will need some uh, some new hooks put on it for next time but other than that it should be ready to go we're just gonna come right here and tie it up there's the line and there's our good little, good little channel that we got we'll take him on he'll make a He'll make a good couple of fillets. He's just about the right size for filleting too. A good eating size fish there. So we'll throw him in a live well and we'll take him home and make, make a couple of fillets with him.